What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to my Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Female Grey Jedi Edition. Hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. Whoa, hold on. Don't try and get up yet. You were smashed up pretty bad when we crash landed here on Terrace. Don't worry, we should be safe here in this apartment. I gave you something to help you sleep. Just get some rest and let the coal toolbacks do their job. That was some cut content right there, guys. Because if you remember, it goes straight to that. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Um. Yeah, the one in the communicator, I remember. Got to be neutral. Just this for a couple of days now, so Don't want to be too nice. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Guess I'll my life. Thanks. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm going to need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. She's the one from the Endar Spire. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Yeah, try and be neutral. That's what we're doing. How do you even know she's alive? I don't, but Bastil is young, and she has a powerful command of the Force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? I mean, if she's dead, then no one can stop Malak and his Sith from wiping out the Republic, and I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. Let's say this. I one person, even a Jedi, would be so important. Bastila no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Vassila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Vassila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Uh, so what do we... Yeah, what do you suggest we do next? Vassal's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. Yeah, be neutral. You don't wanna be up or down. But if it means you see there has to be something getting off the planet. So yeah. Good. 
We're gonna need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Ask us some questions. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. What do you know about Malak and the Sith? Everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. A Jedi? What do you mean? Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order. But they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who had fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Wanna ask something else? I'll tell you whatever I can. Uh, do you know anything about the planet we're on? Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. That was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the Undercity is... Well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls. Mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. Thanks. Um... I'd like to know something more about you. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Okay, um... Alright, let's go. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. I'm a scout. Okay, so I can move. One thing I heard, by the way... Um... Shit. Uh, one second, what am I looking for? Gameplay? Not gameplay. Damn it. Graphics. V-Sync. Apparently turning this on prevents the... Even though I have G-Sync, I really don't think this game is going to be that hard to, you know, get to work. But either way, apparently doing that really helps. So even look at the workbench. Look how much nicer it looks. Anyway, let's use it. We're going to use it to upgrade the prototype Vibroblade. Which now is a two physical. So the thing is that now it's basically the same as a long sword, except um, the difference being it, it it'll have a higher chance to hit because it's a small one, right? It's easier to control. So we're gonna switch to the prototype Vibra Blade. It's four to thirteen. What's the difference between the long sword? Two to thirteen. See that? Based on the kind of stuff you're repping. It's better. Good. I'ma save. I can't remember what the what the button is for quick slate Qu quick slave oops oops the doodle so where are we right now let me look at the map we're in what is it again sorry guys uh we are in the terrace hideout but what apartment complex are we in yes thank you karth let's roll let's roll bruv right you alien scum Ooh. everybody get up against the wall this is a raid humans hiding out with aliens <laughs> There's a problem here just yesterday. They found nothing. Why do you still keep bothering us? I love how we missed twice. Point blank. 
That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens and Republic fugitives attack! See, he's got a different voice. You see that? Because I remember the other guys like, they're Republic fugitives. Attack! He sounds like a bit of a dweeb. Let's roll. Ooh, suck that. Oh, you know he did. Poor Ixgil. He should never have talked back to that Sith. Thankfully, you're here to step in, step in and help us, human. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully it will be the last. I'm just glad I could help. Don't worry about the bodies. I'll move them so they were killed elsewhere. Just kill the Sith off crack. Then you like they won't be bothering us for a while. All right. What do we got for... He's got, he's got a backpack. Even though it didn't look like he was repping that. All right. So one thing... Okay. I've leveled up. Skills. Again, we have four to spend. I'm thinking I want to do awareness, persuade, security, and... What do you think? Computer use? Yeah. It'll be really helpful. Feats... Don't have... So here's the thing. I could start going with... What is this? As a weapon attack to melee. See, this is what I'm wondering. If I want to start... With a single hilt lightsaber. I've done both two lightsabers. And I've done... Um, a double bladed. So I'm thinking... I think I want to go single. Actually, I'm, I'm going to look it up real fast. Okay, guys, I actually looked it up. And for KOTOR 1, for the light side, I did two lightsabers. And for dark side, I did one lightsaber. I thought it was different. So with that in mind, to keep things nice, we're going to be doing this game with uh, two weapon fighting. Um, and we're going to be using a double-bladed lightsaber. Okay, that's going to be the case. That's going to be the situation this time because last time, well, that'll that'll round everything out. So I thought it was the other way around. So there's my answer, double-bladed. I haven't used it in this game. Can I talk to you again? Thank you once again. You're welcome. Honest. Done. Dia. Oh, I remember this girl. She's got a... Who are you? What are you doing in here? Price on her head. You can't just come barging into someone's home. I don't see... I'd rather say the lighter... Sorry, I was just investigating. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Trust me, I can help. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Anything I can I do. It. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. I'll speak to Holden. Could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I want to ask some I questions. Can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. All right. I could try. Sorry, once I ask you some I questions. Okay, I'll be going. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Donka Shin. All right, so no light side, no dark side. That's kind of the goal for this for this game, guys. That's going to be par for the course, you know? Anything, nothing really that great. Lareem. I remember he's, he sells shields. Well, I don't see too many of your kind around here. Most of the residents in this run, run down old apartment are illegal aliens. My name is Lorene, by the way. My name is Danielle Q. <laughs> I know it's really none of my business, but you look like someone who might need to purchase one of those energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know. Very high tech. I know all about them. Okay, well then, you might be interested in knowing I have one for sale. It isn't cheap, but it could be the difference in life and death. Once you have evidence stock, I know my 
kiosk is a much to look at, but price is reasonable merchandise is sound. One other thing to note, guys, I installed a mod that gives more selection throughout from merchants, so there's going to be more useful items rather than just generic stuff necessarily, so that'll help. Why do you have a kiosk set here? I run a little shop here in this old building, selling basic equipment to the illegal aliens renting out these apartments. You messed up about illegal aliens. By law, most aliens aren't allowed to have a residence in the upper city of Terrace. They allow a few of us Twi'leks uh, up here, or Twi'leks, however you say it. I should know. But for the most part, it's humans only. But no self-respecting upper city human would want to live in the apartments in this dump. So landlord has been renting out the apartments illegally to aliens. Better than letting them sit empty, I guess. Otherwise, you get squatters and people hiding out from the authorities living in the abandoned apartments. And they don't pay rent. Aren't you worried about getting caught? Terrorist authorities pretty much turned a blind eye to this place. A few illegal aliens just weren't worth the bother. And once the city took over, they felt the same way. Besides, I don't live here myself. I just run a small business providing supplies to the residents. You want to see what I have in stock? I want to see some questions? I'd rather not. It might be bad for business. Some people saw me answering about some questions to a human. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, all right, let me see what you got. So I have a peek. All right. It's expensive, reinforced fiber armor. It's considered light. It'd be nice to have that early, wouldn't it? By the way, um, armor does not restrict force powers in this game anymore. Does that make sense? So I can use this and use force powers still. But for this first little bit, it's a mod, right? But I'll probably still use like the proper fibers. Now this would be good to get. Can I sell them anything? I don't want to sell too much, per se. These are worth nothing. The Vibra Blades are actually worth uh, 32, but it's not going to get me very far. So he'll, he's like, I won't buy it. I'll take it for free. So there's nothing I really want from him. So let's go. Is there a quick... I don't know what the quick... Hold on a second. Okay, anyways, let's go. Low security. Done. She'll be like, please take what you want. I'm like, yep, I'm doing so. Pudu. Yeah. Tony Rama na praka donko searcha. Chupa punky. Okay, we don't want to go to the upper city just yet. Because we're still searching. On it. Done. I think this guy's the same thing. He goes, Voodoo! Yeah, I remember that. I was just looking, bruv. And you actually had some decent stuff. Well, I like how I can click this without going to the menu. That's I never thought about that. Honestly, it's PC. There's more space for stuff. Securitize. Done. Done. I love how cocky she is. Nothing really crazy, but we do have like computer spikes and things of that nature. Oh, the janitor, I can't. I can't. I can't remember if you could say much to him. Neither. Well, what, 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 you're walking? I just clean those floors. Sorry. Who are you? My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Eh? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Want to ask you some questions? Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Thanks. Tell me about Terrace. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in the upper city. Alright, where is the cantina? Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there. And, and 
from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. That's but some mouse. Where can I get some well, equipment? The best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. You just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets near them. And from there, just head south. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what else? What do you know about the set? Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. Roger. All right, we're done now. We should get back to work. Thanks, man. All right, let's bounce. That's our apartment door. Here's the bodies. Let the bodies at the floor. Let the bodies at the floor. Let the bodies at the floor. Let the bodies hit the ch -ch floor. Scooby Dee Bop. Floor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the upper city. Uh huh. What? Oh, well, that's ready. a quick. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Uh -huh. Nice and easy what? switch. Uh huh. How come he hasn't had a level up yet? Cars bleasy. Four to nine on that money. Hmm? All right. We want to go. Sorry. No, not messages. Sorry. Uh, search for Bastila. Diaz Bounty. These are all new stuff. So we're going. Wait. What? Sorry. Where are we right now? Where's the map? I always do this. Upper City South. So we're still currently in the Upper City. Here's one of the escape pods. Nothing really worth checking out. I don't really remember where this... Oh, Karth. What's up, man? Yes, what's on your mind? No, about you. Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more of my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before I was started. With all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. See, that's pretty neutral. That's that's the nice, that's the douche. So you're talking like it's your fault, like you failed. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. I'm not saying you did. You mean the people of your homeworld? Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Fine, God, don't be salty, Karth. Anyways, let's go. I think this is where Kebla Yurt's shop is. I don't think we can really get anything for her yet. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Well, let's ask you some questions first. Oh, wait. Damn it. Sorry. Talk to you again. Welcome to anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? Do you, anything, do you know anything about those escape pods? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davix men got there first. What can you tell me about the Swoop Gangs? I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker Gang... <laughs> The lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. We know about Davik. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman. If you get my drift, smuggling, slaving, extortion. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. My 
I've heard of the exchange. Bad organization across. But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month. But it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and the suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? See, I don't want to be like, he's a petty crime lord. I don't really care. Is he working with the Sith? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement instead of always going after each other. Okay. How do you feel about the Sith? It's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get what I mean. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Okay, general information. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terra's for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad. As long as you stay in the upper city, just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. Did I ask I about this? Have anything good to say yeah, I did. Sorry. That's well, good it. Now let's see what she's got for Welcome. shopping reasons. So you got for sale? Because of this. All right, so a lot of these things I can't afford. To be honest, a lot of these things here we're actually going to get. This is only a hundred. Four and five. It's honestly not worth buying yet. The light that might be kind of, but we it's medium, so we can rep it. Sith war sword. Don't have the money for much of this, so maybe we should make a comeback. We'll come back when we're when we you know when we've got a bit more cash. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Facebook.com slash DanQ8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, DanQ8000. Instagram, DanQ8K. And Snapchat, DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my shop in the description below. And if you want to save 10% off your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then... Let's hand things over to Knoxville. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.